Welcome to Fishing Dorset Live. Welcome back to my channel. Got a little something different today. Um, heading out on Choksy Charters from Paul Malcolm's boat. And we're going multi species hunting today. We could target one fish, but I think that's a bit boring. But Malcolm suggested we do a species hunt. So we're basically hunting for as many different species as we can get today. Bait wise, we've got squid, mackerel, ragworm, sand eels, and we've got lures. We're also going to try a bit of lure fishing just on the way out of Port Harbour, right in the entrance. It's a beautiful day. We've got a southwesterly as well, so it might be a bit choppy out there. And as you can tell, I'm not wearing the radio mics today. I'm trying to keep away from the radio mics today, so hopefully this should be all good. Malcolm's just got the kettle on. We're going to have a quick coffee. Then we're going to head out to the entrance of Port Harbour. Hopefully, we can smash it on a multi-species hunt today. Stay tuned. Let's get going. Right, what we've done, we've come to a new mark now. Um, it's going to drop like a three hook flapper down with an eight ounce lead on there. Um, from here, we should be able to get maybe place, maybe bream, maybe bass as well. So, congas. yeah, congas as well. Congas. So, we tried to cut the marks this morning just quickly while the tide was running. Um, no joy at the moment. But so, we've hit a mark, we've anchored up, and we're going to give it a good go here today. And obviously the wind now is coming right across the back of the uh, top of the boat so we've got no wind really but i have put the microphones on now just in case so that's a free up flapper out i'm gonna put this one in the holder and then i'm gonna set the second one up which has got the wishbone on there as well
there we go. Beautiful bream. Malcolm's going to be keeping these ones. That's a good eating fish there. Beautiful oh, colours. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, he's only taking a three home. There's no point taking any more. But there we go, guys. Beautiful bream. The rods are back out. Malcolm's just got himself another bream as well. Looks like the fishing's picking up. Happy days. There we go. Species number three. A little pout. He's only, he's only just literally limp hooked there. So he's going to go back. But that's species number three. Hopefully we can pin a few more different species out. But if not, it's still good fun catching those bream. And you never know what you're going to get from this buck. So there's a few other boats around us. We're all anchored up. And it's a cracking day. That sun's out. Bit of a southwesterly. Let's get this fish back. Let's catch some more. Right. I'm just getting a nice bite again. Is it there? No. But I've got a coffee. I'll drink half of it. Yeah, I think I've missed that one. I saw the rock going. I was a bit slow. Sat down on my bum, drinking my brute. Yeah, take it. Oh no! Oh, hey! We've got a little ras! Number four species. Look at that. Beautiful ras, guys. Look at that. I'll get a proper shot on the other camera, guys. Beautiful. There we go. That's number four species on the boat. Beautiful ras there. Got a bite on the rod behind you. Yeah, I've got a bite rod on the rod behind me, but I don't know what sort of ras that is, guys. Could be a ban or whatever they are. But if you know what it is, leave it in the comments. Everything's useful. But it's going to have to go back. I've got, well. got a bite on my other rod just going behind me. And I need to bait up. But it's nice getting these species. And we've got a bite on. Let me just wipe my hands. And I'll bring this one in while the camera's still going. And then we'll see what we've got on this one. No, lost it. <laughs> lost that one, Mel. Yeah, the bait's still there, so I'm going to drop that straight back down. I've obviously missed it while I was getting that wrasse off and getting a little bit of food. But the fish are biting. I'm just about to bait up the other rod. Right, we run about 18 to 20 black bream, out of which Malcolm's kept three real big slabs. The rest have gone back. We've had a pelt, we've had a ras, we've had dogfish, and obviously those bream. We're on slack water at the moment, so it's a little bit quiet. And fingers crossed, as soon as that tide picks up, the fish will pick back up. I'm hoping for a place, that's what I'd like today, we're hoping for a place, um, just to get those species going. So we've had four species, which is good. It's a glorious day out. The weather's turned really nice. Um, not getting sunburnt, which is good. Yeah, there's quite a lot of boats around us at the moment. But it's been an enjoyable session so far, absolutely cracking session. And obviously we're at the start of the year, but the fish are now starting to come in. So the fishing will gradually pick up through the the months obviously on Malcolm's boat as well and our boat when we get out which would be nice so I'll bring it back guys we're probably next footage we'll probably be on a different mark we're not sure yet we're just going to stay here for a little bit and then we might move to somewhere else Malcolm slamming the fish in. oh look at them absolute beauties the old black bream there guys you want them up? Look at them, they're absolute beautiful guys. Now come with the old double shot, I'll leave him alone because he's got his line tangled. So my rod's been quiet for a minute. But if a skipper won't catch in, some of it's wrong. But both rods are out, Malcolm's got two rods out. 
and he's gonna there we go he's just put one bream back but what he's gonna do is only gonna take three bream home which there we go straight back i think i've just missed a fish down it where he's there uh, can't feel him now he was pecking so it's probably a bream pecking by the bait yeah nothing on that right i'm gonna get some fresh bait on that one Right, I'm in the Malcolm's. I'll grab Malcolm's rod because he's got another two rods going. I've got a funny feeling we've got a nice bream on here. Oh yeah, another nice bream. Beautiful. Let Malcolm take that off while I've got the old rod in hand. He's only literally just in the lip. And as I said, he got his oh, he's got his rig back. The rig he snapped off, he's got back. There we go. Beautiful bream there, guys. Another beautiful bream. They're certainly big chunkers. There we go. He's gone back. Malcolm's got his rig back. Happy days. Malcolm's in. And I am on that rod. And it is on this one, and I've grabbed it. <laughs> I think what I'll do next time is I'll grab the skipper's rod. Oh yeah, nice bream, another nice bream guys. Look at that. Good one going back. Another one of Malcolm's. And another one of Malcolm's I've just landed. I love the blues on them. They are, they're cracking colours mate, aren't they? Look at that. Malcolm's just gonna get this one off while I go his rod. But those circle hooks come out really easy. No, yeah, well, I've not put any fresh bait on this rod. So no. Full bream now, and still the same bait. But I've, got, I've stacked the bottom on this one. I don't know whether. Yeah. I've stacked the bottom. Right, let's see if we can get this one out. I think we just had a shell go free. But both, both be rods going. But so far, it's, it's, oh yeah, the other rod's going out. I have to leave this one, leave this one. Oh yeah, look at that one go. That one's going to the tree. Oh yeah, fish on. Oh, she feels breamy. I think we're into another bream. Footage. Oh yes, there we go. Another slab of a black bream there. There we go. Just trying to watch the hooks of my finger. Another beautiful bream there, literally in the lip. Let's get them off and we'll get that one back. Just trying to be careful with those hooks. But what you've got to watch is you've got to watch these bream. There we go, look, the hooks come straight out. And a beautiful, sizable bream. Gone back, as it should be. Only take what you want, guys. Don't take buckets full. It just keeps the fish preservation going. Right, let's get some fresh bait on this one. Let's see if we can get some more biggies out. There you go, another fish on. Oh yeah, it definitely feels like a good bream. Nice bream, I reckon. Oh yeah, beautiful bream. Oh, look at that. Malcolm was busy, so I grabbed his rod. Busy for you. <laughs> oh, and I'll tangle this rod up. Absolutely beautiful. If he stays still, so I don't get spiked. Is he gonna stay still? I doubt it. Look at that guys, absolutely beautiful and right big slabs too, literally in the lip, the old circle hook, straight out, 
absolutely beautiful. Look at the blues and greens on it. Right, she's going back. Gone. Right, we're just moving location now. We're closer to Old Harry Way over by the Purbex. We're going for the Rays now. Ray, Turbot, you'll still get Bremia. Bass. Bass, yeah. Um, the back rod, I've got a whole squid tipped with crab's legs. And on my other set up there, I've got the three, old, uh, three hook flapper with squid, mackerel, and ragworm. So, three different baits on each hook. Malcolm's got the old sandy on his one. And a mackerel head on the spinning rod. And a mackerel head on the spinning rod, so that'd be fun if that takes off. But it's a beautiful day. It's absolutely gorgeous now. That wind's died down a lot. And it's made it a lot more comfortable. So hopefully we can come back with a few more fish from this destination right now. Right, we're into a new mark. We're into a new mark after these rays. And I've got a funny feeling I've got a dogfish. Got a whole squid on there, tipped off with um, crab's legs. Yeah, he's not there. But there's five rods out now. We're going for ray, turbot, conger, bass, bream, whatever else is about here. But yeah, just beautiful bite, absolutely beautiful bite on that. Just over eight doggies. But yeah, that. All the other rods are out. Malcolm's over there chilling out. But we're hoping for a ray or a nice turbot from this park. But in the background now, obviously you've got a lot more charter boats there. Mel, you've got a bite. And old Harry is literally to the right of us. Malcolm's got a nice bite going. Let's see what Malcolm can pull at this one. But what I've done is I just stopped, but I took, put the radio mics away so the wind's died down a little bit. That might be a little bit of a blow, but it's not too bad. Right, guys. Missed it. Missed it. Malcolm's missed that one. Right, let's carry on. Let's see if we can pull one out. Right, I think we could have a possible ray on here. Beautiful stab, stab, stab. I'm not going to strike it too quick. Are we in? Yeah, we're in. Not sure what I've got. Probably a doggy. No, it's doggy. There we got a woofer, guys. There we go. First woofer out. I'll get him off, guys. We'll get him straight back. Could be into another doggy. Oh, there's a bit more weight there. There's a lot. Yeah, it's could be another doggy, but the wind's picked up now. Hey, species number six. Oh, he's just come off. So there was, yeah, species number six, guys. Little strap eel. Catch and release without touch of it. So that's species, well, I know we didn't get on the boat, we've got it to the boat, so that counts. Species number six. Oh, just, just had a beautiful take on this one. I hope it's not another doggy. Hoping for a rate, that's what I'm hoping for. Nope. Into another doggy. Another bait robber. <laughs> there we go, guys. I ain't gonna film too much, but there we go. We got another woofer. Right, Malcolm's had this fresh take on mackerel. So I think we smallly reckons if it's on there. No. Oh, and we got another doggy on the boat. <laughs> oh, he's just come off. Catch and release. Another doggy on the boat. Malcolm's on. On the old Bragwell. Not sure whether it's a doggy or what we're sure yet. We'll soon find out, guys. Oh, look. Give me a guess. Let's have a guess what it is, guys, when he brings it up. It's got. Come on, let's guess. 
it's got a woofer. That's another one on the boat. Right, what we've decided to do now, we've left the deeper out mark, we've come in to the swashing pool. Uh, we're going to chase a few plates just for a little bit and then we're going to head back. We're going to target Brain, Bass, whatever else we can target back towards Bournemouth Way. Just got a single hook out there, loads of beads, loads of rack one on, and then we'll see what we can get. But we're literally drifting from 10 foot down to 40 foot. So the wind's side on, it's going to hopefully push us to where we want to drift through. But the rods are out, and we're waiting. We want a place, that's what we want. Right about time, here we go. Malcolm's in, he's in the summit. It's been very quiet, very quiet. Oh no! He's got a spoon down, it ain't a doggy! Hey! Something different? I'll show you that on a live now. Beautiful doggy, guys. Absolutely beautiful doggy. No, doggy. Speedy. <laughs> It's little starry. It's a bit of upper class than the doggy. Look at that, beautiful. Look at them eyes. Only a little one, but. We don't want to let go of that hook. It's only just in there as well, isn't he? Yeah. Just up in there, but yeah. There's another species to the list. Exactly. I did say they're about speed van. <laughs> there he goes. Open your eyes, you've got lovely eyes. Yeah, they've got, they've got beautiful eyes. But there we go. Old milk, beautiful speed van there. Well done, milk. See so you get close up their eyes. Yeah, they're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Look at them eyes. Piercing eyes. <laughs> there we go. There we go, Skipper does it again, old Malcolm. No, it's gone, it's gone. It's gone. gone. No. I was saying, all those fists on that screen. Like Malcolm just had a stonker of a bite. I reckon that was another speed we made the way that took off. Well, we're in the six species, guys. We had a target of 10. Once we finish drifting here, we are going to go back onto the very first park. Try and pull out a conger and up from there, some more bream. But we've got five rods out. The fish finder has got loads. Look at the fish. Absolutely lined up with fish. We just need to catch them now. Right, Malcolm's in again. Not that one. Yeah. We've got a bit of swell going on as well, so. But the fish finder has absolutely shown loads of fish. Let's see what he's got on this time. No, <laughs> it's a woofer. It's another woofer. This time it's a dogfish. Yeah, this time it's a dogfish. Definitely a dogfish day today, especially this afternoon. But there we go. I ain't gonna show another dogfish, but yeah, another fish with elk on there. Well done, elk. <laughs> Right, big thanks for joining today. This morning session was absolutely brilliant. Afternoon into the evening, we've come back in early tonight. The fish had just switched off. Just getting doggies, Malcolm had a nice little story. So today, for our little species hunt, we got six out of the 10 targets that we did want. Don't forget guys, check out Chopsy Charters on Google or Facebook. I will put the links in this video. It's been a real fun day out with Malcolm. I've done a live stream all afternoon into this evening. I think it's like half seven, eight o'clock now, and it's been absolutely brilliant. So big shout out to Malcolm. Absolutely loved this trip today, really enjoyed myself. So what I'll do, I'll give you a quick look at the boat. I'll jump off the boat because Malcolm's just quickly gone to see his friend. But the boat is absolutely gorgeous. Chopsy Charters Port. 
Malcolm's been a long time friend of mine, seriously long time friend. And he invited me out a few times and I've turned them down. But today I took a day off of work and I headed out with Malcolm. And it's been really good. But like I said, we did have a good session this morning, which morning made up for the whole day. But there we go, guys. Chopsy Charters. Check them out. Google and on Facebook. Big thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one. Big thank you. See you soon, guys.